Okay, this video is a little was a little nerve wracking. Well, this layout was a little nerve wracking, as you can see from my shaky hands. Um, so last week the sparklers for Spiegel Mom Scraps went ahead and we scrap lifted the fabulously talented Missy Wedding, and um, I was a little nervous about it. I really was. Uh, so this layout, you may have seen it. It went up on the Spiegel Mom Scraps Instagram account uh, Friday of last week, but I was on vacation. <laughs> So, and I hadn't gotten to the video before I left for vacation, um, a couple of things happened, just, I just didn't get around to doing the voiceover for it, I took it with me thinking I would do it on vacation, ha ha, vacation was, uh, super fun, I, uh, had a lovely, lovely, restful, restful time, I have some gorgeous, gorgeous photos to scrapbook, um, I didn't go anywhere super special, we just, I was in the, um, we just went to the country. We went to the woods. Uh, we visited my family, and it was just really fun. So we laid by the pool, and yeah, it was a really good vacation. Uh, just really relaxing. It wasn't a vacation that I get back and need to have a vacation from. So I'm just starting with these uh, papers, mounting my photo. So what I did was, this is the July Hip Kit, which is super duper... Um, summery and bright but I pulled some of the lighter colors out. For my mixed media background um, I know that Missy Wooden does the packaging technique and she does it with a lot of her shimmers sprays. Um, my favorite shimmers product is actually Acrotone's paints. I find them the easiest to work with. They dry super quick. They don't warp or will they warp a little teeny tiny bit but not like a uh, some others, and I have a really hard time controlling the sprays when I try to do the sprays with the packaging technique. So I really do prefer to use the Acrotones. So this is Jive and Jade, and I added lots of white, um, heavy body Liquitex acrylic paint to the Acrotones. And then I'm just going to use the acrylic paint to create that smushing background. And I can go in with some more water and, and create. Uh, background. I really wanted kind of a tone on tone for this. As you can see, I, I got the color um, almost exactly the same color as the background, just to fuzz out some of the words. This paper is from Dear Lizzie, and it's from the Lovely Day Collection. And so, yeah, this is going to be the spot where my photo is going to set. And I went through and I kind of mopped up a little bit of the water with some paper towel and also because this gives it great texture. I think that, you know, dabbing that paper towel, if you get a paper towel that has like a nice textured, really looks cool. So the next step is I want to create some drops. I want to create some splatters and I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to shake my Acrotones really, really good and then I'm going to mix in some white Liquitex acrylic paint and then I'm just going to go ahead and get my paintbrush with some water, water it down to where I like it, and go ahead and do splatters. I'm gonna do pink and some orange. When you add the white to the orange, it's um, it makes it into this lovely light corally color. So let me tell you what colors these are. The green is Jive and Jade. Um, the orange is Orange You Glad, and that pink color is called Roses Are Red. And so I got some lovely water that's now going to turn bubblegum pink, and I'm going to use it to splatter, splatter, splatter um, all of these colors onto my background. So the layout, I will post, hmm, trying to think how you would see the layout I scrap lifted. Uh, it's, I posted it in the Hip Kit Club form, and it's also on the Spiegel Mom Scrubs Instagram account. When I was putting this video together, I had already, um, silly, 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 um, I had already deleted it off of my devices and I couldn't, I was having an awful time trying to find it again. Um, so you'll just have to trust me or go check out this Beagle Mom Scraps post because I did add it to that and I added it to the Hip Kit Club. So those last gold sprinkles, splatters that I used was Glorious Days and now I'm going to fussy cut tons of flowers. You'll see them off to the right there. This is the next day when I do a mixed media background. Um, I want it to be dry, thoroughly dry. I am so messy, you guys. I just, I think I'm gonna show you my layout here. Good, yes, okay. 
I did, I did, I did, I did. Hold on. I'm going to find it and I'm going to kind of show it to you. So it'll be small, but at least you'll be able to see it. You'll get an idea of what I was scrap lifting. So there's the layout I'm scrap lifting from Missy Witted, and I'm actually going to set my phone to the side. So that's good. So you have to see the, the layout that I did scrap lift. So this is some lovely tissue paper. Uh, I just keep all of my tissue paper packaging that I get from orders and such off to the side. This, I think, was a Scrapping Wonders order. So it was holding Traveler's Notebooks. I believe, I believe that's what that was. Um, so I'm just going to ruffle up the edges and um, do a nice little uh, background. A lot of people, so I've seen in other videos, some people say that they can't use their tape runner on tissue paper or doilies, but I don't have a problem. I use Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L Dots Roller, and I don't have any problems at all using tissue paper or doilies with it. So I'm going to use some doilies from the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop, and I'm just going to go ahead and put them, cut the doily in half, because even though I have hundreds of doilies, I refuse to waste them. <laughs> so, um, I like to use them, uh, get as much of them visible on a page as I possibly can. So I'm going to lift up the edges and kind of ruffle the bottom here of the paper, and I'm going to slip uh, the other half of the doily down below there and get to work on where I want my placement of my title and then the big flowers. So I have some big fussy cut flowers from that paper which was also from the Lovely Day collection. Um, and this was the other half of the sheet of paper that I used on my uh, sunburst layout last week. So I'm going to start with the big flowers. So I'm going to decide where I want the three big flowers and then I have all these teeny tiny, well, maybe teeny tiny is the wrong word, small flowers that I'm going to go ahead to create my clusters with and I'm going to kind of tuck them around um, the big flowers. And so yeah, I'm just going to decide placement where I want them to be and then I'm going to go and grab some of the chipboard from the collection from the kit. So this was part of the kit. There's these little cute little flowers in the chipboard sheet and also those Bella Boulevard clips. And I decided that they would work very well for my uh, color scheme and for the, the products that I decided to pick out of the collection, out of the kits. And then off to the right there, you'll see those lovely day, uh, like an embellishment pack. Um, so those kind of look like brads, but they actually have um, adhesive on the back. So I'm going to use those. I really like that. That's the first pack of... Um, brads like that that I bought and I really think they turned out nice. So now we come to our sequins. I am going to use the Flower Power sequin mix for this particular layout because it just worked. It worked really, really well and I'm going to add the sequins as centers to all of these fussy cut flowers. So um, yeah, there's lots of shimmers products from the Spiegel One Scrap Store on this layout. There's also these Flower Power sequin mix and those lovely doilies. Those are the smaller doilies, they're the four inch doilies. Um, Jody also carries eight inch doilies in her shop and they're lovely. And don't forget, you can use my code Sarah15, S-A-R-A-15, and you can save 15% um, off on your next order. And I hope you take advantage of my code and do a little shopping because her sequins are fabulous. Um, I, I've just love them. I love her products so much. She does an amazing, amazing job. So that's my layout complete. I, of course, am going to have to clean up a little bit. Actually, no. Yes? No. No, I didn't use the, the brads yet. So I'm going to come back and add the brads, and that'll be my last little finishing touch to this layout. Um, so yeah, I'm going to add this one that says, I think this says One Fine Day, which was perfect for this little picture. By the way, this is a photo of both of my nieces, well, th two of my three nieces, let's say that. Two of my three le three nieces, they're the two that I see the most often, I think. And so because of that, they become part of my scrapbook <laughs> quite often. Um, so I'm just kind of placing these little uh, brads all around the layout. So I will be back. Um, I did take a break. I did go on vacation. I just got back. I'm ready to create. I have a lovely to-do list. Uh, ready to go. So you will see more videos coming up um, in the, probably by the weekend, I would say by the weekend, just because I um, 
I need some time to create some layouts, right? So that will complete this layout. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week and I will see you again soon. And there's that, the layout I scrapped left it again. Have a wonderful day. Bye.